Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 194. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 185 to 202. Hey, in this uh, video here, we're going to see how to make a grade table and calculate grades based on percentage. Now, the videos I do from 193 all the way to 197 are all grade books, different ways people do grade books. Now, let's. Um, look at this one here. We have some names. We have uh, some quizzes, some tests. We need a total, a percentage, a grade. And then our grade table over here, which assigns grades, is based on percentages. And here at the top, we have our max. So 25 for each quiz, 100 for each test. This table could be expanded to have, you know, 20 quizzes and 10 tests if you want. All right, let's first start with the total column. We're just going to add. Actually, not, let me control Z on that. And uh, let's see how the um, to add, because we'll have to look at this section here. Now, to add, you can go to the formulas ribbon, and there's a, ooh, there's a big uh, auto sum right there. It's also on the home. In 2003, it's in uh, the standard toolbar. But the keyboard shortcut rules, the keyboard shortcut for auto sum is Alt equals. Make sure the dancing ants are uh, have got the right set of numbers. If they have, hold Control and hit Enter. Now, um, that Control Enter just keeps the cell highlighted because we're immediately going to do something to it, which is copy it down. I point to the little fill handle in the corner, and when I see that crosshair or angry rabbit, I double click and send it down. Copies it down as long as there's something to the left. Now, percentage, percentage. How are we going to calculate this? Well, um, all of these scores here need to be compared to the total possible, so we'll simply do this formula. Equals one cell to my left divided by I3. Now, as we copy this down, we want this blue one to move, so it's always looking one to my left, but that needs to be locked. So I'll hit the F4 key, which locks it, puts a dollar sign in front of the row and column reference. So when I copy it down, it'll be locked. Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. Now let's add some format here. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for formatting, Control 1, or you could right click Format Cells, wherever it is. Control 1. Under the Number tab, I'm going to say Percentage, and then I'm going to say uh, Two Decimals. Click OK. All right, um, Control 1. I don't want that. I want to show uh, zero decimals. How about that? All right, it's looking good so far. By the way, um, we're going to run into a terrible problem that is extremely common and, in fact, um, scares people uh, in academia away from using Excel. But I will show you how to fix it in just a moment. Now, let's, um, we need a column, a formula using the VLOOKUP function that will automatically grab the right grade and put it into this cell. Now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here. Now the way we do this it, by hand is we, um, for instance, for this student we take the 65, no, let's say we take, uh, yeah, the 65, we come racing over to the first column of here. So we looked at the 65, we put it in on our memory, right? We come over here, we come down here, uh, we see a 65 here, so we jump here. If it was between 65, which we don't have here, uh, we could actually fake this and make uh, this person got a, a 90. No, no, they got a 100. All right, so there's a 70. If we did this one, we would say 70. We'd put it into our memory. We'd come over here. We go down this first column. When we bumped into a value that was bigger, we'd say, okay, that's too big. So we go back here. We take the D. We put it into the cell. That's what the VLOOKUP does exactly, just as we do it by hand. I'm going to click in this cell right here. I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP. And there's four arguments. We only need to use three of them. The first one is the lookup value, and that's the value we look at. So any one of these values we actually, and we'll keep this relative so as we copy it down, it's a relative. But those are the values we look at, put in our memory. Now I'm going to put a comma. Now we need the table array. That's this table here. First column of this table must be sorted in ascending order, from the smallest to the biggest. Okay, So we have our table array. But we need to lock this, so I'm going to hit the F4 key. That way, as we copy this down, the, all the formulas will be looking at just the right table. 
It's locked in essence. Comma, and I have my column index. Column index means this. If you're racing down the first column looking for a value, VLOOKUP no, finds a value, but it needs to know what column to jump over to to find the letter grade. Now, this is column one. This is column two. It's not the M and N. It's the actual table. See the little green highlighted area, M and N? This is one, this is two, as far as VLOOKUP is concerned. So since that's two, we're going to put a two there. Now the final argument we don't need, because we're using, uh, we have an array of values here. If we did a comma, true means you can have an array of value, which means gaps. False means there would be no gaps, or you were using words. We do not need it, because by default, VLOOKUP does true. So I'll simply close parentheses, control enter, and then double click and send it down. Now I'm looking down through, uh-oh, uh-oh. That one got it right. But the, well, first off, I'm bummed out because I obviously did a horrible job of teaching if everyone's getting these grades. But look at this, 65, 65. I can already tell with my eyeball that Excel does not know what it's doing. Well, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Excel's got zeros and ones underneath logic and math and all that. So it probably is the one that's doing it right. It's probably us that doesn't understand it. What's happening here is if I click in this cell and hit F2, I can see it's just 0.65. If I click Escape, I can look up here and see it's 0.65. Um, let's click here and go look at the formatting. I'm going to Control-1. We're going to learn something very important about formatting. Percentage formatting, currency counting, all does the same thing. I'm going to go back to General. You can already see the sample there. There's the problem. I'm going to click OK. That is not um, that is below 0.65, so the VLOOKUP obeyed us. The formatting made it look like it was 65, because formatting artificially rounds up just what you're looking at, not what's actually in the cell. This unform unformatted number is actually in the cell. Let's control Z, which is undo. Notice we applied the percentage format, so it just looks like there's a 65 there. So. If your grade uh, syllabus, your grading in the syllabus says you're rounding to the single digit, then you need to do it. If it's not, then you need to explicitly not show it this way. You would have to expand the decimal, so control one, and you'd have to show lots and lots of decimals. In fact, in some of my uh, syllabi, I show this many decimals in my syllabus. I show up to 15, and so that way there nobody can get confused. I'm going to control Z, but I want to show you what to do if in fact this is how you do it. You got to, since there's a number less than 65 here, we have to officially round. We need to make the number underneath the same as the formatting. So here's how you do it. I'm going to click in the top cell and F2, and then I'm going to click at the beginning, and I'm going to type the word round. Whoa, you mean it's that easy? Yeah, round what? The number. Well, it's a formula, and we need number of digits. Now, it's probably easier to, and safer to come up here and then type a comma. I'm going to dare it and click right there. Comma. Now, number of digits. If you want to round to the, to, to the integer, you have to type a 0. If you were rounding to the penny, which is two decimals, you'd have to put the number 2 here. So if your syllabus showed two decimals, you'd have to put a 2. If it's to the integer, it's 0. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. We're rounding to the uh, the zero uh, to the integer. So now when I double click and send this down, uh, I did something wrong there. What did I do? Oh, uh, I made the, the the fatal error with the percentages. Uh, Control Z, uh, and this is a good thing that I made this error because uh, lots of other people make this error. Let's just go um, and look at the formatting here. Control One and get rid of it. General. Oh yeah, look. Point, boom, boom, boom. If we want it to round there, since this is a number less than 1, the reason why it was all 100% is because this is being round up oh, to the integer. What we really want is to that. So we actually want the 2. I'm going to uh, escape there. Click here, and let's change it to 2. By the way, if you wanted it to this, 64.53%, you'd have to put a 4. I'm going to hit F2 and change this to 2. Now I can control enter and double click and send it down. There it is. Now it's officially a 65 with that formula right there. If I go down to formatting, control 1, and general, you can see now that it actually is 0.65. So that is how you deal with that well-known problem with 
uh, percentages and decimals and VLOOKUP and grading. Use the round. If it's for two uh, decimals, two. If it's for four, uh, use four. Don't use that zero because it's not to the integer. All right. We'll see you next trick.